then of course, you know, you get into practice and you kind of forget about everything, <laughs> but it has a lot of play and interplay with respect to, you know, cases that might involve interjurisdictional issues like, uh, you know, a case where there's law enforcement officers for a local municipality enforcing laws on a on a federal installation, for example, and there's no agreement or interjurisdictional relationship by contract. So the, you know, you got the local police making arrests under, under local law on federal installations, you know, and the, so it's, there's a lot of problems. And because the prosecutors are about as educated as most people of the academia, sadly in this world, <laughs> Uh, a lot of people get away with it and a lot of lawyers don't make the right motions or do the right things. And again, a lot of it has to do with the clients. Clients don't have the money. These, these, these cases fall through the cracks, you know, the infractions and the misdemeanors, they're not big money. So that's where the municipalities make their money. They make their money off what you would call the ignorant, the people that don't understand their rights and the people that do understand their rights. Unfortunately, like guys like Ralph Riley, for example, it's almost like your life has to become a full-time job of protecting your rights, which is totally cool. You know, that's, you have that right as an American, thank God. So that's why guys like Ralph Riley come on my show from time to time. <laughs>